Okay, what's up guys? So Lexpo back here, and today we are going to be playing some Odd Pally. I straight up have no idea what a deck I want to play anymore, so I decided yeah, we're going to play some Odd Pally. Just I, uh, yeah, I found a list for it, and it looks pretty interesting. I really do like Amethyst. Uh, I want to play more decks to play this card. And yeah, besides that, it's pretty standard Odd Pally. Um... I'm hoping that it's going to be a deck that not too many people are going to be expecting, so it's going to be able to steal some games. And yeah. One of the cards I'm kind of weirded out though by, unless, did the card get nerfed? No. It's not playing any Quartermasters, which I think is a little bit weird, but there is at least a level up, so yeah. Anyways, though, with all that being said, how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, yeah, that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. First matchup, Shaman. I'm assuming it's going to be even. Um, this hand looks fine. Yeah. This hand looks pretty solid, all things considered. So the only thing I think that can make it a little bit better would be a Lost in Jungle on one. Like, Lost in Jungle on 1, Hero Power on 2, this on 3. I have a whole bunch of 3 ones. But, alas, I can actually go, like, Coin Hero Power, but I think this is slightly better here. Okay, this looks crazy, but... Kill a Totem. I think that's fine. Hopefully it's fine. If not, I mean, me. Pretty good. I think trading this is better. I know that there's no way to bounce uh, the broomstick in this deck, but at the same time, I feel like keeping the, the broomstick around is slightly better. It's something that I would rather bounce if there was an opportunity to bounce it, so... Yeah. Alright, well... If he has a default, I'm forcing it this turn. I think doing that coin play on one was, like, actually really good. It allows me to keep tempo throughout the entire game so far. And be super far ahead on board. Like, here I would rather keep this around than the broomstick, because it gives me more opportunities for shenanigans. This hand forces a devolve if he has it. Which I do really like. It's a 3-4, it's like weird, and it survives most removal right now in the game, so... Yeah. In turn, give a random minion in your hand, plus 2, plus 2. Okay, that's fine. That's also fine. <laughs> Google Barrow. Um, I can like buff this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Oh, shoot that down. Got some silver hand recruits. I kind of wish I would have been able to keep a couple more recruits around because that's why the level up would be a little bit more impactful. But yeah. go super good hopefully it buffs this up oh that's a really good play here oh uh, yeah let's trade this fuck all right well i'll take that <laughs> uh yeah no that guy would have been so good here uh giving all my totems divine shield against his deck is like actually super good especially if i hit another copy of the horseman to give them all taunt it makes it really hard for his deck to beat it so yeah i understand that concede anyways uh with that being said let's uh queue up the next one Okay. I mean, that's really interesting. 
horseman the war horse trader is really good here um all right i'm gonna mull both of these hopefully going to those are not the cards i wanted to see hope i find another one drop again with the coin having the one drop helps with tempo building a lot i could also just go like coin this here like that's not the worst play I think ideally I draw like tour guide so I can go like this tour guide hero power on one or like coin war horse trainer on two. Okay, it's not ideal. It's actually pretty bad overall, but at least his deck doesn't play removal. And having a whole bunch of taunted dudes is also really, really good against Questline. Um, the problem is the fact that he can snipe the Warhorse Channer from behind a taunt. There's no... I don't remember if there was a card that buffed all your Silverhand recruits permanently. If I can actually adapt this on four here, and if I hit stealth, I win the game. So he doesn't play any board wipe board wipes. So if this has stealth, as long as I have Silverhand recruits, I have taunt minions. And it gets so much harder for him to win, especially if I then also get Lothraxian. All of a sudden, I have Divine Shield taunted minions, and then it's really, really hard for him to, to deal with that. So, hopefully, I do draw it, but I have a cramp in my hip, and it hurts. I, I got this when I sit down for too long. I get fucking cramps in my hip, and it, it sucks. <laughs> it's my reminder to go and stand up and walk around and do something else than sit behind a computer, although I've been, like, walking all day, so, yeah. By the way, uh, I've been meaning to talk about this for the last couple of days. I think I mentioned it once, and I never gave too much more information about it. But I will be streaming way more frequently starting shortly. Uh, I have been very busy for the last two weeks, uh, helping my brother with his wedding and doing a whole bunch of shit like that. So I've just been super, super busy, so I've just not had time or the energy to stream i would like finish doing shit and i would get time that i normally stream at and i would just be completely exhausted so i would just choose to go to bed <laughs> um no i i still go to bed at like 2 30 in the morning three o'clock in the morning but i only really sit down only get time to record really at midnight so life is hard <laughs> um but yeah, starting shortly, I'd probably say Monday next week, I think is like the first day I'll have a little bit more opportunity to, to do things like this. Okay. So you got Yogg, right? Like he 100% just drew into Yogg here. A good one. Give me stealth. None of these are stealth. The one ones would help if he has the removal spell for it now. But if he doesn't, I just get to push so much more damage. It really sucks that he had... That I missed on stealth. If I missed on stealth, the, the game was more than over. It was it's just stealth stealth. Oh, no. I, I thought that used to be just give it stealth, not stealth until next turn. I think most of the cards that give it permanently stealth got changed i know the rogue one got changed for those who are wondering why that's the case you used to be able to give like if you high rolled playing warlock against rogue or playing rogue against warlock i guess is the more popular one uh you were oh man just has double rake okay fuck me i guess even the Vine Shield would've been better. This way he has to use double rake on that. Unfortunate. 
I can't believe he had double rake. That's so good for him. This went from being like a free, easy dub to being fairly hard. Oh, hero power. This thing. Alright, I'm gonna hold this. Not only does it doesn't summon another dude, because he's killing this this turn. So, and if he wipes more of my board, although he used double rake, so that's gonna be a little bit challenging unless he draws the second one of these. Um. Yeah, I have the level up, which gets me a whole bunch of 3 3 taunts, which is gonna help a lot. But if not, I just hero power here. Uh, no, I'm gonna go for the full board. Alright. A whole bunch of taunt dudes to prevent him from punching me in the dome. I like it. Uh, next turn I have so much damage, so... He's hoping to find that poison seeds. If he hits it, he hits it. I mean, there, there's nothing I can do. I don't think he is. Oh, fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But he said, oh, he's just going to go Yogg. That's so sad. Yeah, I lose because he hit so many free spells this turn. Just play your Yogg. I know you have it. Just play the Yogg. I know you have it. I'm so fucking sad. Yeah, of course. Can't believe he actually had the Yogg. Like, oh, uh, I forgot he had Yogg. I'm so sad now. I should have hero powered after. I could have potentially saved two taunt minions. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've lost the game now. I have no more taunts in my deck, and this just kills me. Oh. Eight, nine, seven, six, eight, nine. I'm fucking dead. I'm so sad. At least she only takes two damage, but even then, pretty sure it doesn't fucking matter. He he's also drawn Floop. I know for a fact that he drew Floop over the last two turns. This card right here is a Floop, and I'm gonna cry about it. Cause you don't slam that here unless you have Floop, especially now when you're only facing down a four one. I have to go for this here. Draw two minions. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. I'm just hoping that this is going to take him long enough to stop enough damage. Like, I mean, he has one more dude. Yeah, he has one more Umbral Owl. Besides that, it only takes two, which gives me enough time to build up another army of recruits. Lost in the Jungle is the best card to draw. No, Jury Duty is the best card to draw. Gives me a whole bunch of 5-5s. Five That's fine. Jury Duty is the only card I want to see. I guess Muster for Battle is also not bad. Yeah, Muster ain't bad either. Sucks I have to waste to set everything down to sit his guy down to two. That is the worst card to draw in my entire fucking deck. Oh, 
unironically, like, probably the single best card I could have seen. I want to just do this here. I can just... No, I can't do the play I want to do. Should do that. I do lose out on this, though. I mean, it's going to die anyways. I don't know I fucking die. Right now, it's me. Poke, poke, poke. I have to play this level up here. Really did not want to burn that level up here. I really want to be able to hit multiple more dudes with it, but right now it's a question of surviving. I guess I could have went broomstick, but no, then I... If he has a plus four attack card in hand, I die. He's forced to kill the 1-6 here, or else it busts my whole board. Warhorse Trainer would be another really nice card to see, especially if I can wipe the board next turn and go Warhorse Trainer. And he's out of removal for it, so I'm in, like, a fairly good position. If I top deck Warhorse Trainer, I... I can win this one fairly easily, but it's like the only card I can draw here that really serves a damn. Super battle would have been really good earlier. Yeah, I have to do this here. I keep this around, but it's just a 3 1. So, I mean. He is out of rakes, which does help. So he has one more turn that he needs to punch this before he can punch me in the dome, which gives me one more draw at jury duty, promotion, adapted, uh, adaption, warhorse trainer. Yeah, warhorse trainer is by far the best one. Warhorse trainer is like almost lethal, right? It'd be 15 plus 9. Plus 10, 25. Two off lethal. After he hero powers three off lethal, but if he punches the one the three one, then it is lethal. I just need it for the taunt, really. If I miss out a taunt card, I lose the game. Is the big thing. The thing is, I doubt he's gonna want to play another buff spell. I need a if I top deck Warhorse Shinner, I win the game. Promotion gives me another turn. Come on, Warhorse Trainer, one time. That card does nothing, and I fucking die. Are you serious? I'm so sad now. Bro. This card, not quite lethal. Divine Favor would have actually been sick. Promotion saved me. I'm just dead, right? There's nothing I can do. It's 8 damage in hand, 2 damage from hero power. I'm just dead. Oh well. I had like 3 cards in my deck that saved me potentially 4 with adaptation, but alas, it was not meant to be. That fucking sucks. We were that game was so unlucky. Actually so unlucky. Also, I love how he did actually draw the floop. He actually did draw the fucking floop. The turn that he played Guff. Oh well. It feels bad. It happens though. Anyways, uh let's uh let's cube the next one. Alright. Oh, we have the tour guide on one, jury duty on two. This one's actually pretty solid. This one's really, really solid now. This is another matchup where if this thing survives, we win the game. Basically against like every warrior. If Warhorse Trainer survives, we win the game. 
Is there one that gives all your Silverhand recruits taunt? I don't remember if there's a card that gives all your Silverhand recruits taunt, but if there is, I need one. <laughs> so giving taunt in this meta is so good. It's actually insane how good taunt is in this meta. Um, it's one, it's one of the few metas actually from recent memory where not just the aggro decks win by punching you in the dome with creatures, but like every deck does, right? So being able to get basically infinity taunts is super good. But like, yeah, like all the combo decks for warriors require punching in the dome. Uh, Odin Warrior requires punching you the dome. The War Song Commander requires punching you the dome. Uh, the Worgen Infiltrator requires punching you in the dome. Everything in this meta requires punching in the dome. So, like... Yeah, I guess I just slammed this here. No, he's gonna deal 5 to it, so it's, like, bad to do that. Uh, alright, well... He deals 5 to it. I'm going to force him to deal 5 to something that's not ideal. If not, he's just going to get punched forever. And on 3, play this. I can do this here on this to trade. This way I get some amount of value. Alright, play it this turn. If he doesn't play this turn, it's level up, and then that card does nothing, but he's forced to do it here. He's gonna do it on there, he's gonna deal 5, probably kill like 2 one ones, And the 2-2 two two is my guess. That is not the card I thought that was. Alright, well... That's fine. I'm super okay with that. Are you ready to rock? I have no idea what the fuck that is, but... You have another piece of removal. Let's see it. I thought about keeping the Lost in the Jungle uh, one more turn, or two more turns. So I'm going Amethyst next turn, most likely. And then going... I was thinking about going level up. Oh, is this just lethal? Any more? Uh, let's just go this. And then... This would have been so good last turn. I can draw two minions... Drop them onto two twos. I think I just buff my board and I go for just damage here. Because, like, I have so much other potential damage in hand. But I think it's worth... Could have saved this for one more turn. Potentially got a little bit more value. But this way, all my minions do survive a second shield shatter if he does that. Because they can only take two, right? So it doesn't kill all my one ones. That's fine. It's been a while since I've seen a Boom Control Warrior deck, though. It kind of fucks with it. I thought he's gonna go Shield Shatter, and I was gonna be like, hot lol. Good meme. Okay, now I have to worry about the Shield Shatter. Oh, uh, let's just draw two minions. Put them to two twos. Broomstick is a very interesting draw. I guess I'll just go with this here. I don't want to lose the Divine Shield on all of those dudes. I could have done this to push another 3 damage, but... Or another 6 damage. In reality, it would have really only pushed 4, though, and I don't think that's worth it. Not when I have potential of getting a lot more done and a lot more use out of my mana. That's fine. I have lethal next turn if he doesn't wipe. You have the Shield Shatter. He has double shield slam. Ah. Must be nice. Oh, that's a lot of damage. A lot of potential damage. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Plus. Not quite. It's plus twelve. Hmm. Do to do. He's also been hitting really good on his fucking thing. This hero power. I'm contemplating going Warhorse here because it is fairly good. I think it's slightly better next turn, all things considered. Guess I activate this creature. Got some balloon achievement. <laughs> Okay, now if he doesn't wipe, I have lethal. Once again. Because all of a sudden... Did he top deck the second? That's fine. Okay, this should be lethal, right? I'm not tripping. There's so much fucking... I wouldn't understand if this ain't lethal. Oh, I should have played this first. Whoops. If it busts the Warhorse, I'm gonna be sad. If this ain't lethal, I don't know what the fuck is. Yeah, thank god. Oh my god. Playing against Control War is always stressful, man. Always fucking stressful. Alright. I'll take it. I'll take this. This is pretty good. Uh, yeah. Anyways, we have time for one last game, so let's queue it up. All right, Shaman. Shaman's always a rough-ish matchup because of the card default. I think I've gone second every game so far today. Might want to keep Muster, but I would rather Hard Mall here because there's so much potential good shit to draw that I think it's worth it. That's so good, and I got the Muster back. Yay! Drawing a one-drop minion would be nice, like a good one-drop. I don't have any of the payoff for this, but I think I still go for it. It's Shudder, right? So, like, I feel like going for this is pretty worth it. Unless it's, like, Quest Overload, in which case I've lost the matchup anyways. That deck plays a million fucking board wipes. That ain't holy. There's that that's holy, and there's those two that are holy. I have to waste this here. It really sucks uh, to waste my best burst spell on turn two to deal with a Bulner, but I can't. I've played way too much Shadow Walk Shaman to know that this card can never stay on the battlefield. Okay, at least here the muster is, like, insanely good. Because, like, I can do this. If he devolves my board, he devolves my board. It's not the end of the world. I have this on five, which is going to be pretty solid. Um, Cards I'm looking for here just because there's so much burst is, like, level up, right? If I can go level up here, I all of a sudden have, like, a million damage. Yeah, that's fine. The level up. Flooding the board here could be very dangerous. Uh, if he doesn't play anything, I have nothing to trade in to play this. But if he doesn't kill anything, I level up and I burst him for fucking 15 damage. Uh, what is that? 15, 16, 17. He's at 4. Turn 6 is lethal if he does nothing. But I doubt he lets me get... Oh my god. Do I just send? What's the worst thing that can happen when I send? Firemancer Flirt Toxin? I mean, but that's bad either way. Fuck it, we're just sending. He doesn't have it. 
Oh, he's actually at one. Did I miscount? He's at how much was he at? Twenty one, fifteen, he's six, seven, eight. Huh? How did he go to one? It wasn't fifteen. That's why. <laughs> Um, definitely had more than five silver hand recruits there. I, I can math. Oh, you have a million dudes to find shield. I also finished level up my Ev and Tess. Speaking of, I have to go click on the other two. But I just, I'm way too tired to play mercenaries today, but I'm going to do this anyways. Okay, beautiful. We're almost done leveling up all the characters of mercenaries. Six or seven away? Something like that. Which is pretty hype, all things considered. I'm very excited to have them all be done. Because that is like the longest part. Well, no, that's not the longest part. The longest part of mercenaries is completing everything. Because you, you kind of have to play through everything like four times, I feel. Like minimum. Because it's like... One time to learn what the regular one is, one time to beat the regular one after you know what it is, and then same thing for the heroic, even though heroic might take several attempts. Um, yeah, it's not as easy as one might think, but hey. Anyways, Odd Pally. Uh, deck is still really strong. I think Odd Pal, like, there's so many decks I feel like are much better than their play weight would suggest. And I feel like Odd Pally is one of those. You'll never see the deck anymore. At least I've not seen the deck in what feels like months. But at the same time, I still feel like the deck is really, really strong. So, like, it's one of those decks that's not flashy like a lot of modern decks are. But it's just what you lose in flashiness, you make up in, like, Omega consistency. You no matter what, your hero powers still make two one ones, and your a lot of your deck like revolves around them, right? Uh, silver, and, right? Like you have so many other options as well. Like this is not bad if you're not playing odd. You have air raid, which is pretty solid. Uh, you can play a second jury duty if you wanted to instead of one of these. You have this, which is really good um this is interesting uh you have this that's not bad and non even less you have more here um so like you know like there's a lot of stuff that has to do with silver hand recruits and i feel they're kind of uh, i don't know i feel like odd paladin is just underrepresented for how good the deck is um if you need more ways to make them, like, this is not a bad option, but, like, I would potentially cut the adaptions for them. But at the same time, adaptions could give, like, this Divine Shield, and that's insanely good. So, like, you know, I, I just feel like the deck is underrepresented. Even though it's not my favorite deck to play, I, I'll be honest, but it's still a very, very solid deck. And it's an alternate to all you guys who only play aggro that want a new aggro deck to play. So, yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I don't have much else to say about Odd Paladin. It's still Odd Paladin at the end of the day. It's not like there's a million things to, to say about it, but hey. With all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.